Kim, thanks so much for coming in today. The DEXA scan that you're about to have is going to help you to determine essentially your ideal weight, particularly through this journey that you're about to take part in. As a grown adult, I'm wondering how much I need to lose altogether. So I've, I've estimated around 40 to 50 kilos. Right, okay. Um, and I've lost 10 kilos already, so yeah, um, I'm really happy with the results, but I'd really like to know what is my goal weight yeah. that I need to reach to be comfortable. What is your current weight now? Um, currently at 119 kilos. So you're estimating your ideal weight at around? About 80 kilos. About 80. Yeah. Okay. And did you play sport when you were younger or have you always been active? Yeah, I've always been active. I think that's made a big difference to my ability to lose weight because I feel like I do have muscle mass under there somewhere. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but I just ha can't find it at the moment. Yeah. Well, that's one of the things that the DEX is going to help show you today is that you'll get a very, very accurate picture of your muscle, your bone and your fat mass. So many people particularly just try and estimate their, what their ideal weight is based on scale weight. Mm -hmm. And scale weight doesn't give you the answer in terms of how much their bone weighs or their muscle weighs or their fat weighs. It just yeah. gives you one number. So we'll be able to get that a very accurate picture for you today with Great. respect to the DEXA scan. We'll be able to see whether I am big boned after all. <laughs> <laughs> Kim, come on through. So Kim, this is obviously the DEXA scanner. What I'd like you to do is lie down on your back with your head up this end. When you lie down, centre yourself on the bed with this line through the middle. That's it. we have the results and one of the great things about DEXA is that we get the results immediately. If we look at your bone mineral content that's the actual weight of the mineral component of the skeleton. So your skeleton weighs 2.5 kilograms. Most women somewhere between one and a half and two and a half kilograms. So your bone weight is completely normal. That sort of dispels that myth of individuals having heavy bones. Bone density is also normal at 1.05 grams per cent per centimetre squared for your total body bone density. And if we look at the lumbar spine, one of the main sites of osteoporosis, bone density is also normal at 0.95 grams per centimetre squared. This information here on this page really provides us with a graphic of where the fat sits on the body. And you can clearly see that with the fat in the yellow, yeah. muscle in red and the bone in blue on that left side of the graphic. On the right side here, we get a Android area, hence the A, and that's the amount of fat that sits across the abdomen or abdominal region. Mm -hmm. And the G or gynoid region, so the amount of fat that sits across the hips. So if we look at your android and gynoid areas, they're two really useful areas. So when we scan you next time in 12 weeks time, we can actually see how much fat tissue you've lost across the abdomen and how much you've actually lost across the hips. With reference to your visceral adipose tissue, that is measured in centimetres squared. Yours is 130 centimetres squared. Higher risk is over 100, so you are placed into that higher risk category for perhaps type 2 diabetes and heart disease. So the implementation of your diet and your exercise program now obviously comes at a good time. So we can see hopefully that in 12 weeks time that that VAT area has dropped below 100. Currently, you're carrying 48.2 kilos of fat tissue. Wow. Now, that might sound a lot, but you're actually doing really quite well. Okay. Most women will sit around the 20 to 25 kilo mark, so that indicates you've got around 23 kilos of fat tissue to, to lose. Okay. Now, this result's incredible. You're carrying 70.5 kilos of lean tissue or muscle tissue. Now, most women will have around 40 kilos of lean tissue in their body and you have 70. Wow. So you've got 
pretty much 30 kilos more muscle tissue than most women carry. I always knew it was under there. <laughs> <laughs> so <clears throat> what's your ideal weight? Well, you're never ever going to reach, obviously, 70 kilograms yep. because your muscle weighs 70 kilograms. Yep. When we add your bone mass and muscle mass together, you weigh 73 kilograms. So you t told me that you thought that your ideal weight was around 80 kilograms. Mm -hmm. That would mean that you would have to get your fat mass down to seven kilograms, which is impossible. Right. If you could get your total fat mass down to 20 kilograms as a final goal, if we add 20 kilograms there, your ideal weight is around 93 kilos. Wow. So okay. you told me earlier that you thought you had about 40 to 50 kilos yeah. to lose. Well, we've now with the DEXA, we've been able to bring that down to 23 to 28 kilograms. Okay. Just now by actually being able to measure bone, fat and muscle separately, which is what densitometry and what the Hologic Total Body Scan provides for us. That's fantastic. Total body fat percentage today is at 39.8%. The recommended range for your age at 33 is around 21 to 33 okay. percent. So you're not that far out. When you pull that fat mass down by 20 odd kilograms, you're mm -hmm. going to pull that well within the norms. So there's your results for today. I think you're actually doing really well, particularly obviously starting this uh, intervention that you've uh, on the, on yeah, the journey on your already. journey, and yeah. I think now we've cut your goal by half. So <laughs> yeah, I think a, uh, it feels like it's much more attainable. Yeah, absolutely. In much less yeah. amount of time. So that's amazing. Great. I'm stoked, and I'm so glad to see that. What I thought I had muscles there, they actually do exist. You certainly yeah, do. Didn't imagine absolutely. them. Absolutely. That's amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Well done. Thanks. Initially, I thought this journey was going to take um, a very long time, up to a year to achieve and now I realise that my journey is not as long as I initially thought and I think that I can achieve that in a much quicker um, time frame now as a result of it.